How much does it cost to build a custom home? How do you get this answer, especially at the very beginning of your project? This video is going to walk you through a detailed but simplified process to figure out your initial custom home budget. Welcome to Dream Homes with Kathy. I'm Kathy Yoon, architectural technologist, custom home designer, and founder of Phase One Design. Our team and I have designed over 600 custom homes, and this YouTube channel is dedicated to sharing our knowledge with you. If you want more content on designing and building custom homes, hit that subscribe button so you get first access to more videos like this. All right, let's dive in. All right, let's start with a graphic of the planning process. You'll notice that there are two different steps that talk about budget. First, you have an initial budget range that should be confirmed before you start your project. Then, a final budget range that can be confirmed once you have a design and a set of plans ready. In this video, we're going to be focusing on the initial budget range. If you'd like to find out more about the overall custom home planning process, we've created a step-by-step -step planning guide for custom homes, which walks you through every single step. I provided a link below down in the description. It's a free download and feel free to download it at your convenience. So how exactly then do you figure out your initial budget range? There are three key things. Number one, understand your personal financial situation. Know where you stand financially and relative to the financial requirements for the project. Here are a few key considerations. Factor in non-build related expenses. Forecast any potential changes that may occur to your situation during the custom home project. Remember that a project timeframe is on average about two years total from the very start to the very finish. So a lot can actually happen within this time frame. So for example, where are you going to live during the build? Do you need to factor in any additional home costs and any carrying costs related to living somewhere else rather than the actual build site itself? Understand where the money is coming from. Decide if it makes more sense to borrow money to fund your project or does it make more sense to use your own money? Now, if you are borrowing money for your project, make sure you familiarize yourself with the concept of what's called a construction loan or a construction mortgage. This is the type of financing that's typically used to fund custom home building. It is quite a bit different than a traditional mortgage, so it's very important to educate yourself so you understand the nuances. Also, keep in mind that construction loans are somewhat of a specialized field. So make sure you're talking to an advisor who is experienced in construction loans. If not, ask for a referral to someone who is. We have lots of referrals, so shoot me an email if you need a referral to somebody specialized in this area. Know your project's cash flow. Make sure you know when you need money and for what dollar amounts you need. Keep in mind that there are costs involved for the project even before you start construction. Where is this money coming from? Then, throughout construction, progress payments are very typical and to be expected. Regardless of whether you're borrowing money to finance the project or using your own money, you need to make sure that you have access to funds when required and so you don't inadvertently delay your project. Number two, confirm high level scope of work and design. So this is probably one of the most important steps, but unfortunately, this step is commonly missed. First of all, please don't confuse this with starting your de design. You are not starting your design because that's not what you need right now at this point. What you're trying to do is understand high level design requirements so that you can establish scope of work. Contrary to popular belief, the design of your home drives the majority of your budget, not your builder. If this is shocking to you, don't worry. This will make more sense in just a few seconds. Hang tight. So how do you do this? You do this by meeting with a custom home designer. Now the caveat is that it needs to be an experienced custom home designer who is not only highly skilled at design, but also needs to be very familiar with how to work with budgets. 
So how do you know that they know how to do this? Let me share some tips. Now when you first meet a potential designer, ask if they can help you confirm your project's scope of work. Your scope of work includes your square footage and your level of finishing. After reviewing your wish list and your photos, the designer should be able to give you an idea of how much square footage you may need to accomplish your wish list. This is really important because square footage, to a very high degree, influences the build budget. Also, based on your photos, they should be able to get a rough idea of your expectations for level of finishing. Now more on that in a second. The second thing the designer should be able to do in the meeting is walk you through a high level budgeting exercise. They should be able to give you and advise you on a low, high budget range of what to expect. Now if you're comfortable with this range, then all is good. This is great news and now you can move on to the next phase of your project. However, if you are not comfortable with the range for whatever reason, there needs to be further discussions to see if your project is even viable. If your budget and required range are close, then typically some adjustments to scope can be made to bring your project into the budget. An experienced designer will know how to do this. If for whatever reason the budget range is still higher than what you're comfortable with and your actual budget, my advice to you is to consider taking a step back and reevaluating if your project is even realistic and before moving further. I know that's not what you want here, but one of the worst possible things that can happen to you is to run out of money halfway through a project. Now, if you need a custom home designer to walk you through this part of the process, my team and I would be happy to help. You can reach out to me at hellophase1design.ca and I've provided in the link below. Number three, talk to a custom home builder. Here are some key items to cover in your meeting when you're meeting with the builder. Vet the budget. Share your wish list with the builder and also the square footage range that the custom home designer gave you. Based on this, a builder can typically give you a high level budget range. Compare this to the budget range you received from the custom home designer. If both parties are experienced, these two ranges are typically fairly close to each other. Now, question is, is it redundant to talk to both a designer and builder? Absolutely not. In my opinion, this initial budget range is so important that it's worthwhile to talk to both independent parties and looking at it both from a design standpoint and also a builder standpoint. Now, I want to emphasize again that this is a low, high budget range. You will not be able to get an exact budget number until you have a solid set of plans. The purpose right now is to discuss this budget range with professionals, confirm you're comfortable, and before investing more time and more money into the project. Now that being said, it is not uncommon to have a significant gap between the low and the high end of your budget range at this point in the game. Look at some of the homes that the builder previously built. You can do this either with photos or touring them in person. The purpose is to see if what you're expecting in your finishing level is within the budget range that you're discussing with the builder. Compare the level of finishing on these homes to the level of finishing that you expect. Are they higher, are they lower, or are they on par? Then compare the level of costs in these homes to the level of finishings that you expect. Are they higher or lower? Ask questions about when that particular home builder's draws are, or in other words, when they require you to make payments during construction. This will help you understand the cash flow for your project, and as we talked about earlier in the video, especially if you are borrowing money, make sure that their draws match when the bank will be releasing funds to you throughout the various stages and so you don't find yourself short of money halfway through the project. So after you have all of this information, what do you do? It is a lot of information to digest, but in reality, it will boil down to one simple question. Are you comfortable with the initial budget range and cash flow requirements? If yes, then congratulations, you can proceed to the next part of your project. 
If no, then you need to take a step back and reevaluate your project, which means bring your scope of work down or bring your budget up. Regardless of your answer to this question, the information you now have will give you the confidence to make a great decision for your specific scenario. So now you know exactly how to secure your initial budget for your new custom home. If you need help with this part of the process or are interested in working with my team and I for your custom home project, you can reach out to us at hello at phase1design.ca and I've provided a link in the description down below. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe. I would love if you hit the bell icon so you get first access to all of our new videos. I'm Kathy Ewan with Phase One Design. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video.